What's going on, people? It's your man, the YB, back once again. Big shout out to my doggy, Sean Kelly, for coming through and boosting up the coin, no doubt about it. So, as you can see on your screen right now, your man, the YB, was posted up front row, mobbing out here, no doubt about it. He put the last of his gyro, the last of his universal credit, went on them front row tickets, 100%. Anywho, <laughs> oh yeah, more time, big man plug as well. Go follow the YB on IG. Listen, the YB trying to get on. I need some clout pussy. That's what I need right now. I need 100k followers and get me some 100k follower pussy right now. No doubt. <laughs> anyway, like I said, we was there. It was actually kind of mad. Like, being there, obviously. But, um, anyway, let's get to the point of it. I ain't gonna lie to you. I said in the video, in the build-up, my heart is with Joe. My head is with Zhang. I ended up putting a quick 50 on it, just to put, you know, the ones there, just to sweeten it, sweeten it a little bit. In my mind, it was kind of like, well, if Joe wins, I've lost money, but he's won, so I'm happy for him. If Zhang wins, I've made money, so it was kind of one of them win-win ones. Plus, knowing my betting record, I thought, well, if I bet on Zhang, you know Joe going to win. You know the ones there? Anyway, obviously, not even YB's bad luck could deny Zile Zhang. Zile Zhang is a bad dude. That's just what it is. He bad. He bad with it. I think he's actually... You know what? I'll tell you what will be a great fight. I wouldn't mind seeing Wilder versus Zhang. But well, that's the thing about Wilder, yeah? He ain't going to fight Zhang. No way. No way. And if he does, I'll give him big credit. But he won't even fight Ruiz. Do you know what I mean? Wilder versus Zhang. Because Wilder, what's he known for? His right hand. Zhang. To be fair, Zhang can make... Zhang can... He can really do it all. Yeah, he's massive as well. Zhang would be what? 55 pounds heavier. Someone mentioned it yesterday. One of my doggies, he said, listen, can you believe Zhang is 15 pounds heavier than Fury? We think of Fury as a super heavyweight. <laughs> Zhang's like another, not, well, let's think about it. A weight division, yeah? 140, sorry, 140 to 147 is seven pounds, which works out probably what? What, five and a half percent of your body weight? So, from Fury to go from, or from 270 to 285, 86, that's a similar amount, 5.5%. So it's almost a full weight division that Zhang is bigger than Fury in. Anywho, Joe Joyce came into this fight heavy, 280, so there's no excuse that... I mean, the first fight, he looked iffy. This fight, he didn't look iffy. He just got got. And I posted on here, I think you could see it in a minute... Where is it? Uh, not this one, this one. I said, this is obviously an L for Joe, but to Valhalla he travels. I've been talking for a while that it's not really about losing. It's about how you lose. Daniel DeQuitt, he won't, he ain't making it to the gates, people. He ain't making it, he can't even get the interview for the gates, you understand? He can't even get to the psychometric test questions for the gate. Yeah? He ain't making it past the whatever stage. He can't even apply for this role, do you understand? Yeah, he ain't got it. Listen, Daniel DeQuitt has not got the entry requirements for the role. <laughs> yeah, of Valhalla-ness, of warrior-ness. He doesn't have it, people. He can't apply. Do not apply. Yeah. And back in the day, they used to be like... Back in the day, allegedly. I wasn't there. I didn't see it, but I assume it's true. I've heard it's true. Back in the day, on shop, on shop door fronts, they'd have signs like... No blacks, no dogs, and no Irish or whatever. Trust me. On the gates of Valhalla, they have no pussies and no Daniel Dubois. He ain't getting in there, people. Do you understand? So, like, some people were clowning Joe. Oh, he got knocked out, whatever. Listen, that's what that's the game. That's sport. Unfortunately, people, yeah, in sport, someone has to lose. And in this sport in particular, which is why most of us like it, is the fact that we're not kicking balls. I never got it myself. Fair play to you. If it tickles you. If it tickles you, but whatever. But football, for example, okay, eleven lazy. To be, in my opinion, boxers are. I mean, football players are lazy, man. Yeah. Oh, there's a few good ones, but for the most part, they're lazy drama queens. They roll on the floor. I mean, you, you might know me. I'm critical of Usyk. He irritates me, and he's in a fight. Like at least you can say, well, he's getting punched. Why be? These footballers rolling on the floor, and or not turning up. Oh, oh I'm being paid five hundred grand a week, and oh. Oh, the manager. They're always blaming the manager. Wait a minute. You've got 11 hard back, 
30, 25 year old men making 500 bags a week and you want to talk about the manager, get your ass out and get to work 100%. You rarely, you seldomly see a team of football players, yeah, really pushing. You know what I mean? It's like, normally on a team there's like two or three dudes who are really about it and the rest of them are just kind of tagging along, being carried. That's how I feel. Yeah? In football, in all team sports, you can hide somewhere. In boxing, you can't hide and in boxing, you get punched in the head. In football, you can hide somewhere and there's no real consequence. Okay, we lose 5-0. Oh. Okay, five balls went into the back of the net. And <laughs> look at Joe now. Joe, he ain't sitting there talking about five balls went in the back of the net. No. Joe is on the floor. Twist up, people. Yeah? That's serious. Twist up. Super twist up as well. All the twist up. Yeah? Zang, Zang hit Joe Joy so hard, yeah. He might as well have been playing Twister. Truth be known. Yeah, and the thing about Twister is, when you play that game Twister, yeah, you have to realise that there's levels of Twister, yeah? If you're on a first, if you're on a th second or third move in Twister, that's not complicated, but I spoke to the people who invented the game Twister, and they told me to listen. Zhang hit Joe Joy so hard, yeah, that Joe made it to a level in Twister they've never seen before. Joe was on, like, the... 18th iteration. Most Twister games peak out about turn 8, from what I've heard, the average from the professionals. Yeah? Zhang hit dude in one shot, in one turn. He sent him to number 18. Yeah, just twist. Simple as that. He was bent all out of shape. And a bit, bear in mind as well, people, this is some little skinny dude. Joe Joyce is a 281 pound man. And he would twist it up. Yeah? And I'm not clowning him. Why be? You'd get twisted up too. That's my point I'm making. This is a serious game, people. So I'm not. I've got mad respect for Joe. Do you know what I mean? And I, I, I mean, I spent after the first loss to Zhang, I spent about a day, I think, probably ten hours, ten working hours, making a little video for Joe, trying to like, not solve things, but you know what I mean, giving my two pennies and demonstrating or whatever. In my opinion, but looking back now. I don't think, literally, you'd need, you'd need the Anuaki aliens to come down. I just think, I just think Zhang's this year. I, I don't think, especially at Joe's age, at 40 years old, I don't think anyone could get Joe Joyce to beat Zhang. I think Joe Joyce can beat most orthodox fighters. But I'd, I'd, I'd back Usyk to beat Joyce. Um, but yeah, most orthodox fighters, Dillian White, that's a great fight. I'd, Joe would wash Dillian White. I'd bet money on that. Um, I think Joe Joyce versus Dubois too is a good place for Joe to go next because the quit's finished yeah the quit needs like, that, that fight makes sense now yeah Joe versus Dubois too and the winner of that is semi-relevant again and I would back Joe to win that fight because Dubois is slow Zhang is quick as well. That's what makes it mythical. Zhang's the biggest heavyweight in the world, but he's quick. And when you're in, when you're like there live, yeah, the shots that Zhang was throwing, they're not just quick. They're like, for example, Usyk's quick, but he's pity patty. He ain't got no pop. Zhang has a quick thud to them. They're like whap, whap. He whaps it out, and it finds a home more time. It's not like he's whapping it out, and it's kind of and and, and, it, and also in like. In the past, people have said Joe Joyce is slow, yeah. Um, but what was I gonna say? In the past, people have said Joe, Joe Joyce is slow, but yeah, he is slow. That's what I'm gonna say on that one. Compared, to, yeah, it really did show. We've never seen it really show like that. Joe Joe Parker's supposed to be quick, but maybe Zhang is that quick. Do you know what I mean? Usually, Joe's timing is elite, but I think. Like I said in my pre-fight video, you need, Joe needs to be able to get his jab off. And you can't fight, it's not just Joe. Devin Haney, one of the best jabs in the world. He can't find it against a southpaw. Joe Joyce can't find it against a southpaw. That's just what it is. So, yeah. I mean, Joe beat Dubois with a jab. You understand, people? He stopped him with a jab. Meaning that, I mean, Joe Joyce beat up Parker with a jab. If you take that away, given that he's slow, I mean, you could see, Zhang could see all the things Joe was doing coming. And I could see it as well. I was like, oh, that's not going to work well. But at 40 years old, he ain't going to get no quicker. So 
At this point, it's kind of like he's got to salvage what he can. I'd be calling out Dubois now. And if I was Joe Joyce, I'd be out here saying, listen, 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 Dubois, you're a quitter. Yeah? I'll make you quit again. Or I'll get knocked out. Do you know what I mean? Like, Joe, could, Joe should be riding with this now. Because there's going to be no favours for him now, in that sense. Where does he go now? He needs to be pressing for Dubois. Listen, man, I get knocked out. Oops. I get stopped or knocked out. I'm really with it. Do you understand, people? That's what, I mean, I've got shivers going down my spine now. That's what Joe can tote. Joe can tote the fact that he really, really with it. He with it shit, 100%. He ain't playing with it. He ain't scary with it. Yeah. I get knocked out, I get stopped. What can you, you can't really, you can't say fairer than that, can you? Not in my opinion. I get knocked out or I get stopped, yeah? No in between. No corniness. No quitting. No knees. No eyes. Yeah, no, ooh. No belly. Oh, no, ooh. Oh, my name's Yusuke and he hit me in the belly and ooh, I'm a, I'm a drama queen. No, I get knocked out 100%. 100%. Yeah? So, that's what Joe's shtick needs to be now. I mean, the chin shtick is obviously over. Yeah, you can't talk to him about, you can't mention the chin no more. Which, which, and... I have to be honest, I was shilling it as well. I ain't gonna lie to you. But this goes to show that really, when you hear these clon oak wheel terms like no one's chin lasts forever, you really, after after a while you think, oh, that's not true because whatever. But ultimately, yeah. Especially at heavyweight division. You chin everyone. Although actually, that's not true. Did Foreman ever get stopped? No, he did, didn't he? Foreman got stopped by Ali, but yeah, so yeah. Uh, who's got a good chin in the heavyweight division? I'm sure there's a few. James Tony never got stopped, but he wasn't really a heavyweight so much. Anyway. <clears throat> yeah. Mad. Zhang. Fury don't want Zhang. Zhang's the but Zhang would beat Usyk, in my opinion. Too big. Too big, too quick, and too powerful. And he's not stupid as well. Yeah. Zhang, Zhang actually can... The way he came out in that first round... I had Joe winning the first round, for what it's worth. But... He had, he had a good look at Joe. Got comfortable and then... Oh, yeah, he's smart as well. He's smart, big and heavy. I'd still back Fury to beat him, but... Fury can't even... Bro, bro listen, if you can't fight Usyk, you ain't, he ain't never fighting Zhang. I, I, it will never happen. Unless... I mean, you'd think so. If I was Frank Warren now, I'd be reaching out to the... Um, what were they called... The Chinese government, essentially. Because, for them, 100 mil or 200 mil is nothing. These guys print 500 bill for fun. So, for them to put up even f f two, 300 million for this fight, for their, in their country and for their kind of, their pride. Countries like Russia and China, they have like proper like, you know what I mean? Like, they'll do anything for the W. To be fair, every, it's not just them, every country does that. You, the US in particular, US, UK is a bit, we're a bit weak with sports to be fair, but yeah, the main ones, them guys love it, so that's what I'll be doing, reach out to them, it must be the thought so, there must be some dude out there who's got a whole bunch of money to put that fight on, that's what the play should be, but the problem is, Frank ain't gonna do that, maybe Zhang's team, Zhang's team need to kind of try and work what they can over there, on their side, and bring an offer to Fury, that's massive. Because if nothing else, you ain't lost nothing. You know, you know, if I was Team Zhang, I'd just make it up. Hey, we've got the Chinese government. They want to pay you 300 mil and put it out all to the newspapers. Because guess what? If Fury says yes, then you can kind of politic it. Oh, yeah. And then you can kind of, you know what I mean? Like, go back to the go back to the actual government and say, listen, Fury wants to fight. Can you put the money up? But for, in my opinion, Fury ain't never going to fight you. So, sorry, Zhang. So it's kind of like free promotion. We offered Fury 300 million and he still bottled it. Oops. Yeah. He's a big fake bare knuckle king, which he is at this point. He's fake. Bottom line, he's fake king. You know, who's he beat? Okay, he beat one basketball player. Come on, people, stop. One basketball player who fought a sixty-five-year-old old tease. Louis old tease, old bro. He's old. His knees are old. This is what it is, people. Anyway, as you get older, yeah. When you're anyone who's below like twenty-eight, you man don't really know yet. I didn't even know yet either. That's the part I'm making. When you're below twenty-eight, yeah, you think, oh no, nah, no. Nah, you, you, because you don't you don't know any different. You think yeah, every year's the same. When you start knocking into the mid thirties and forties and fifties and God forbid sixties, you best believe it. Yeah, for anyone who thinks Ortiz really had anything left, you'd have to laugh for yourself. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, 
Salute to Joe. It's an L. It's going to be a hard L to come. No, it's not hard to come back from, but his options now are limited for sure. It has to be Dubois. It really does. That fight for both men. Dubois has no sh no no clout, no shame left, and Joyce. Listen, Joyce lost to the second best heavyweight order. You know what? Actually, yeah, second or first best, even way. Zhang is number one or two. Joe lost to number one or two. Nothing wrong with that. Someone's got to lose. You know what I mean? Joe could have ran through Zhang and Zhang would have lost. So there's no shame in Joe's just beat by the. He's good. Zhang's good, man. Zhang's good. That's what we know for a fact. Is Joe a little one dimensional or kind of. But we knew this. I said this in the fight build up. Joe doesn't make. There's never been a time in Joe's career where he's made he, big adjustments. Tell I. I think the Dubois fight. The Dubois fight. He didn't really fight like a juggernaut. But still, it was orthodox. Joe was able to pop the jab and pull back. Plus, Dubois is slow. Plus, Dubois is slow and doesn't really throw combinations. Unless, unless you, if you stand in front of Dubois and he can bend his knees and hunch right over and start winging away, he'll throw combinations. But for the most part, he wants to want to plant his feet. You know what I mean? If you're not doing that... Um, Like Zhang, he, he can move and he, he makes you pay as well. The minute he sees Joe's right hand coming, pop. It, it, Zhang was able to get it out there before Joe could even think about it. And it was punishing as well. It wasn't, a, for example, Usyk often pops people with the left hand. But it's not punishing. It's not knocking no one out. This dude, Zhang, he, he, yeah, he, he with it. I rate Zhang highly. And it's a shame that the boxing world isn't like... Um, it's a shame the boxing world isn't like UFC. Because these are fights, man. Fury versus J Zhang. Fury versus J Usyk. You know what? Not even so much. That don't really interest me. You know, I think Fury run through Usyk for what it's worth. I just do. Especially after that last outwin. But Fury versus Zhang. Zhang is durable. He's not chinny. He can jump on the floor. He's quick and he's powerful. Fury's quick. He's not powerful, though. I don't, I don't believe. Fury looks powerful against 210 pounds Wilder. Yeah? Is he powerful against 280 pound Zhang who's gonna hit him back? That's what we need to fight. You know anyone's there? Yeah? Anyone can be powerful against a basketball player who can't fight on the inside. Zhang, his defense is tight as well. He doesn't get caught with his chin in the air. He knows how to touch. I mean, all the shots Joe threw, they were just. They were road or not, not effective. Anyway. For what it's worth, it wasn't last long, but it was a great fight. So let me know your thoughts. Again, go follow the YB on IG at the underscore don underscore yb no doubt about it 100 percent <laughs>